Hey guys, Kaden here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you're new, please don't forget to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and leave all your comments. If you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you for tuning in. So guys, today I'm going to come to you with my foundation routine slash highlight and contour. And if you want to see how I achieved it, continue to watch. So guys, first I'm going to go in and prime my face using my Parcel Elixir. Bless you. And yes, that's my newborn. She's sneezing. Say hi, baby. So I'm going to go in with my prime. I'm going to use that to moisturize my face. And then I'm going to go in with the Bare Mineral um, Primer. And this is a mattifying primer. And it is really, really matte. When I say it's matte, it's really, really matte. You have to work quick with it so as soon as you put your products down you don't have to wait on it to dry because if you wait for it to dry then it's gonna just stay in place it's not gonna move it's not gonna blend you have to remove your entire base so now i'm going to go in with my foundation and the foundation that i'll be using is the cover girl true blend foundation in in d15 and I'm going to use a foundation brush, my Marc Jacob foundation brush, to spread that out on my face. And then go in with my foundation brush from Real Techniques to blend it out. So when I do this, I realize that the I use less products. Less product. And I'm going to show you how my brush looks after blending out the foundation. Because you can see that I did not use a lot because the... <laughs> the bristles in the brush they're not clumped together they're still nice and loose and if i had used a, a clean brush then you'll see that all the bris the bristles will still be like white but this brush was used previously in the next video and yes guys i did my brows off camera and i will link that video down below and also that I look, I will link the video down below. So as you can see, I'm not um putting the product. And this is where I was talking about the brush. The bristles are not apart, like clumped together. The brush doesn't look wet or anything. And as you can see, I did not put the foundation all the way up underneath my eyes. Because I'll be going in and highlighting. So I'm highlighting with a light concealer. And the places that I'm highlighting is where the lights normally it's so when you're taking a photo that's where the light is focused in the center of your face so i'm going to be highlighting under my eyes down the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose cupid's bow chin and my forehead and then after highlighting i'm going to go in and add my contour and the contour that i'm i'll be i'll just be using a tad bit yes my baby as a hiccup I'm going to be using the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer to contour and I have a natur natural contour line so I'm just going to enhance it a little bit. So guys just watch and learn. I, know, I don't know if you can see but that's what I was talking about when I say I have some natural contour. So you can see that dark line running down my cheek. Okay. So I'm just going to enhance it a little bit and then I'm just going to put the contour just up there where my eyebrows are. And then I'm going to run it down my nose. So this contour shade that I use from LA Girl, it's really, really pigmented. So I just used a little, little bit. So I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques brush and use that to blend out my um, highlighted areas. So I'm just going to blend, blend, blend to perfection. Ensure that all the arch lines are gone. And after blending, I always go in with my foundation brush to like get rid of the arch edges to make it look flawless and just flawless. So 
So now I'm going to go ahead and blend out the contour. And as you can see, I'm blending up. I'm not dragging the contour down. I'm giving my face a lift. So I'm just blending it up. Look at how I hold the brush. So the base, like the tilted portion, the bottom part of the brush is what's doing all the work. The top part isn't doing anything. It's just there to like blend out the arch edges so it's there's no product there so when it touches the product then it's gonna um smooth it out if you get what i'm saying i don't know if i'm explaining everything right to you guys but once you watch it then you can have an idea of what i'm talking about i'm just smoothing out the the um the concealer under my eyes because i don't want it to be creasing and now i'm running down the contour I'm running the contour down the sides of my nose to make it look snatched. And as you can see, the concealers, they melt so flawlessly into my skin. There's no harsh edges or anything. And I haven't like used a foundation brush to smooth it out. And now I'm going to go in with my foundation brush and ensure that everything is melt like melt to perfection so that's what i'm doing right now and look at my face you can't see any arch lines or anything my face looks like it's already been set but no it's not i'm about to do that right now and i'm going to be using my sasha butter upsetting powder and i'm going to go ahead and put it in all the highlighted areas and also do a reverse contour underneath the contour line so i'm going to be doing like a quick little bake with this powder and then I'm going to um, press the excess into my skin. I won't be dusting it off. I'll be pressing it in. So this is going to help me to have an e even more, a more, a more, this is going to let me have a more smoother base. I can't talk today. <laughs> a more smoother base and it's going to last all day. Okay. And this is me showing off my snatch rouge, if that's a word. My face looks flawless. It's snatched. So now I'm going to go into my It's Marie Rie Times BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha. And I'm going to use that over my contoured area. So I'm going to use this powder to set the contour that I put down. So it was a liquid contour. Yeah, liquid. And I'm going to use it to snatch my face. So... Look at them cheekbones. They're snatched. Snatched it. <laughs> snatched. So I'm just wiping off the excess powder down the side of my nose so that my contour, my nose contour looks flawless. And you're, you're going to see it in the hand. So now I'm going to end with my, the same brush that I used to blend out the contour. Not to blend out the contour, but to blend out my highlighted areas. And I'm going to use that to set the, to press the powder into my skin. And then... I'm going to be doing the same thing all over my face. So look at that nose. You see that all the highlighted area is precise and nice. There's no harsh edges or anything. So now I'm going to go in with my black radiance blush. I'm going to be adding that to my cheeks. I realize that adding blush to my looks these days makes it like, it looks a little different. I like it. I like the look that it gives. So yeah so now i'm going to set my face using one of my all-time favorite setting spray which is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray and i'm going to be saturating my face in that and then leave it to dry And look how natural and flawless my face looks. It's the bomb that come. So now I'm going to go in and highlight my face with the Nefertiti highlighter from Juvia's Place. And I'll be highlighting my cheek, like ice parts of my cheek, down the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose. I'm going to be placing some under my chin, my cupid's bow, and also my forehead.
After adding all that highlighter, I love to go in and tone it down using my foundation brush. So I'm just going to use it to melt it into my skin. You don't want your um, highlighter to, to just be sitting on top of your skin. You want it to be melted. So now I'm going to go in with my mascara and finish up my eyes. And yeah, just watch, learn. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell another friend to tell their friend and tell their friend. I'll also be placing my lash video down below so you can check it out. So my lash video, my eyebrow video, and also the eye look video. You can check that, those down below in the description box. In the, yes, I'll place it in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And I'm just finish up this look, applying my lips, and yeah. So here you go guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new, please don't forget to go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please tell a friend, tell another friend to tell their friend and they should also tell their friend. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.